Hey guys, David Tsunami Hydro Graphics here today. Hey, I want to show you a quick little thing. A little time saver, a little money saver, okay? I needed a bunch of shelves uh, for painting uh, to stack up these uh, 12s I've been doing a lot of. And I didn't want it to take up a lot of room. I didn't want shelves in my paint booth. So here's what I came up with, okay? This is a hinge, a cabinet hinge, okay? Cabinet door hinge. What I did was I just cut the hinge off of it, okay? and ended up with this little rascal. I got the three holes in it, and I've got a notch. See that? So I ground that notch down and made it fit inside of these Rubbermaid racks. Now these racks are supposed to be in the cabinet cover, and they sit like that, right? There's Rubbermaid right there. What's the part number? I don't know, 11653 mesh shell, 16 by 16. Uh, the project that I've got uh, 24s, but this works just fine. Okay, so I got two of these. That's all I needed was two. I got two of these. So I'm into, I think this is $12 each. I've got two, I got $24. Okay, I got the hinges I had on my laying around. So what we do, I don't even know if I got this on the bottom one. Let me just check this. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay. So that one's in place. That one's in place. I just set them on the floor and screwed the screws in. That would line them up perfectly. Now, shelving. A bundle of lath. Six, seven bucks. Maybe ten bucks. I don't even think it's that much anymore. It's just cheap fur. A uh, quarter inch. Just cheap stuff. I was going to run these through the planer and thin them down a little bit to smooth them out a little bit. But what you do, what I do, is i got marks on these so I know what's level across. I can see this line here and this line here should be about the same. So, there we go, two little sticks, start at the bottom of course, work your way up, and you got yourself a shelf. Start down here, work your way up, you can put 40 different 12s up there for what I'm using them for, but you can, they're so adjustable that, you know, whatever you're working on, uh, it gives you that versatility that you need uh, for just about any project that you're doing mass uh, production of. So anyway, uh, cabinet hinges, got a couple laying around, a couple pieces of Rubbermaid shelving. This is the six foot stuff. A bundle of lath. Now, you don't have to have, this is actually a full length piece, 48, I laid it out so I can get them in and out, which barely gave me enough room here. They don't have to go as long as I've made them. You can make them short, whatever you need them to be, as long as they sit on there for you. They're going to bow. You're not putting a lot, I'm not putting a lot of weight on them. If there was a little bit more weight, then we would find something a little more, you know, supportive here. But it uh, works fine for what I'm doing. Anyway, I've got 20 bucks into this thing. I'm 24, 30 bucks into this thing. Maximum 35, and I've got my whole staging. Uh, spray rack. So after I'm done spraying, I bring them over here. I can spray another eight, ten of them. Drop them off here. Come back and pull these if necessary. Shoot another coat on it, and I'm not slowing down. David Tsunami Hydrographics. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like it, subscribe to the page, and uh, you can always find me at thccoatings.com. David Tsunami Hydrographics. We're out.